So today, let's learn something about a condition called as primary ciliary dyskinesia. A normal airway is lined by microscopic structures called as cilia. Their coordinated movements help in progression of the mucus which is stuck in the periphery of your lung to be expelled towards the center so that we can spit it out. Similar goes in your upper airway in which it helps for proper nasal as well as oral secretion clearance. In case of PCD, these cilia are affected in the form that either their anatomy or the structure is at default or their function is improper. So what happens is all the secretions get clogged towards the periphery and this clogged secretion forms the nidus for various infections. A child presents mainly with upper airway complaints, mainly with significant blocked nose, recurrent ear infections as well as polypoidal mass. Gradually, this disease progresses towards the lung in the form of significant persistent wet cough. This is associated with spitting out of copious mucoid expectoration which could harbor various infective organisms. Over a period of time, there could be significant growth faltering and the child might fall back both on weight as well as and height. The diagnosis of primary ciliary dyskinesia is made primarily by proper history taking as well as examination which involves ear, nose and throat examination as well as chest examination. The definitive diagnosis is made by genetic testing but indirect diagnosis could be also made by calculating the nasal nitric oxide or the bronchial brushing to be swatched under electron microscopy as well as bronchoalveolar lavage to look for specific organisms causing recurrent infections. Important to note that it is not a life-threatening disorder as with proper techniques of prevention of recurrent infection, the child could lead a normal life. Treatment should be focused primarily on airway clearance technique that involves clearance of both upper airway as well as lower airway by doing various breathing exercises as well as chest physiotherapy. Also, to prevent various recurrent infections, the child is either put on a prophylactic antibiotic or treated with antibiotic as and when necessary. This is Dr. Kausthu Moite, your pediatric pulmonologist in episode number 43 of Daily Doctor Dose. Thank you.